Hi, I'm David Zeiger, and this is Trailers from Hell. Okay, picture this. You're one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, maybe the biggest. Your most recent picture has just been released to rave reviews, and you are a shoo-in to win the Oscar for Best Performance. You're on top of the world, and you can pick any project you want. So what do you do? Well, if the year is 1971, and your name is Jane Fonda, you turn your back on all of that, gather together a scrappy troop of performers, and set off to entertain anti-war soldiers around the world. A few years before this, Fonda had been introduced to the movement against the Vietnam War that was emerging inside the military itself when she met with a group of deserters in Paris. She then devoted much of her time to traveling around the United States, visiting soldiers and supporting the GI movement, which by then was popping up on bases everywhere. GIs were forming organizations, publishing their own underground newspapers, and demonstrating against the war. In May of 1971, around the time Clute was released, over 1,500 GIs, most of whom had just returned from Vietnam, marched in a demonstration against the war just outside the gates of Fort Hood in Texas. It was Dr. Howard Levy who had famously refused to train Green Beret soldiers and was in prison several years earlier, who suggested to Fonda that she use her talents as a performer, and they came up with the idea of an anti-war variety show to counter the pro-war shows that Bob Hope was putting on for GIs. And with that, the FTA show was born. Do you have change for a quarter? Oh, yeah. Yeah! FTA was actually the acronym the Army had come up with as its recruiting slogan, Fun Travel Adventure. But the GI movement adopted it as their own slogan, Fuck the Army. And that was very much the spirit of the show. Most of the skits, full of pointed humor, were taken straight out of the GI underground press, and the soldiers loved it. After touring outside Army bases in the U.S., Fonda and crew took their act overseas and performed for Marines, sailors, and airmen, and that's the tour, the FTA documents. The performers included Donald Sutherland, Jane's co-star in Clute, who shows his comic chops and then ends the show with a zinger of a rendition of the final soliloquy from Dalton Trumbo's classic anti-war novel, Johnny Got His Gun. There's also the wonderful character actor, Michael Alimo, and the then unknown Paul Mooney. Folk singers Len Chandler and Holly Near rounded out the cast, and Rita Martinson, who would go on to work with Henry Jaglum, brings the house down with her song, written for a GI who refused to fight in Vietnam, Soldier, We Love You. But the real stars of the film are the soldiers themselves. History, with the help of Hollywood, has pretty much erased the memory of how widespread opposition to the war was inside the military, along with the deep influence of the black liberation struggles raging in American cities at that time. But FDA brings that reality front and center. As such, FDA is a powerful and moving historical corrective. And here's the kicker. Released by American International Pictures, FTA opened in theaters on July 21, 1972, just a few months after Jane had won the Academy Award for Best Actress for Clute. But after just one week, it disappeared, pulled from theaters, and all but one print destroyed. FTA remained buried for decades. Director Francine Parker was never able to make another film in Hollywood. Jane Fonda was demonized in a carefully orchestrated campaign by pro-war forces, and the story of the GI movement was buried under the image of Rambo and the myth of anti-war activists spitting on Vietnam veterans. In 2009, after making a film about the GI movement called Sir No Sir, I released a DVD of FTA, made from the one remaining film print in the Academy archives. Then last year, an organization called Indie Collect was able to piece together the original negative, and a beautiful 4K restoration is now available from Kino Lord. Foxtrot, Tango, Alpha, help me, tell me, what does it mean?